Hi everyone, I'm making this video for everyone out there who is interested in picking a technology stack for developing perhaps a pet project or a software as a service, maybe their own startup. There are a few considerations that you need to keep in mind as you go about deciding which technology stack is right for you. The first consideration is what's the right tool for the job? Often when we're looking for the technology stack of our dreams, we kind of have it backwards. We first focus on the technology and then we try to figure out, okay, now that we know this particular stack, what kind of problem can I solve? From a business standpoint, you need to first focus on the actual product. What is the problem that you're trying to solve for people? And once you know the problem, you can decide which stack works best. For example, if you're trying to create a real-time chat, like a WhatsApp, for example, then you probably need something like, uh, let's say, Phoenix and uh, Elixir in your stack. However, if you're creating a project that is mostly CRUD-based, so you're mostly doing operations of creating, reading, updating, and deleting data from a database, something like Ruby on Rails or Django or something else along those lines will more than suffice. Okay, let's say that now you are narrowed down to a set of five to 10 technology stacks that fit the bill for the kind of problem that you're trying to solve. So now you have to decide among this group, and it's not so easy, right? They all seem very appealing. They all have their pros and cons. You could end up wasting a ton of time trying to decide between these uh, different technologies, looking at tutorials, trying to see comparison videos like this one, and not come up with anything. My suggestion is to instead take into consideration what you know best. The limit very often is not the technology stack itself, but rather your knowledge of it. So my recommendation is to try to start with what you know. So if you're really experienced with Python, and you're trying to create a web project, maybe Django would be a good option, maybe Flask would be a good option. But you already narrow it down significantly to those two frameworks. Of course, there are a few more Python frameworks, but those two are the most popular. If you know Ruby, Ruby on Rails might be the obvious choice, though you also have Sinatra and a few others. That really narrows the field for you. The third point that you should consider is which technology is stable and mature. I'm actually advocating to use boring old technologies. Instead of going for the shiny new object that will change very quickly, go with some well-tested technology that is proven to solve the kind of problem that you're trying to solve. You will want a fairly stable and mature framework or stack because you don't want to play catch up with the framework changes all the time, having to rewrite the whole application every six months just to keep up with the API changes that were introduced. Sometimes you hear people say, oh, Rails is dead or Django is dead. That's nonsense. They're not the latest hot thing, but it doesn't matter. There are millions of developers using them. There's a huge ecosystem. It's proven to work well. So unless the requirements for your project are not met by those particular technology stacks, try to stick with something that is proven. The fourth consideration that you should keep in mind is whether the technology that you're learning has a certain value in the marketplace. If your plans are world domination with your projects don't pan out, are you gonna be able to find a job? Are you going to be able to freelance with those skills? Because if that's the case, then it's kind of a plan B, it's kind of an insurance for you that the skills that you're learning are going to be useful. So that kind of affects whether you choose something that is more mainstream or something that is perhaps a little more on the edge or niche, if you will. For example, if you pick mainstream stacks that include, let's say, Ruby, Python, JavaScript, maybe Go, you will have a lot of opportunities to find a job, almost regardless of where you live. However, if you were to pick a technology stack that is more niche, let's say one that is based on Elixir, Haskell, Clojure, uh, maybe F-sharp, something like that. Well, that can be good and bad at the same time. You're going to have a much harder time finding a job, especially locally if you don't live in a big city. On the plus side, those companies who are hiring people with your skills are really looking for you. So you may have fewer opportunities, but you will have also less competition, and some of those roles might end up paying better wages than the ones that... Uh, are more mainstream and for which companies can hire a lot of developers simply due to the rules of uh, uh, supply and demand. So let me know in the comments below what's your technology stack of choice and uh, whether you think this video was useful to you. As always, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button. And until next time.